Cutting crime and saving you money. New tonight, we're learning that a program at the Kalamazoo County Jail is expanding after proving it can keep inmates from returning to the slammer. Tonight, 24 Hour News Ace Heather Walker takes you inside the jail to hear from the inmates and why it is changing their lives. Heather? Hey, Sue. Yeah, inmates I talk to say the program works because it gets to the core of what's causing them to get locked up. This is B West 7 and 8, also known as the Life Principles Pod. And today we talked about grounding and about staying grounded when you're in stressful or emotional situations. Yeah. Pastor McNelly is one of the instructors of the Life Principles program, a Bible-based program that teaches inmates skills to correct bad behaviors. The men are all here voluntarily, attending classes five days a week for four hours a day. There's a set of rules, there's conducts that they have to follow by. That Why did you decide to get into it? Uh, just to try something different. I've, uh, I've been in and out of prison my whole life and uh, I just I did a lot of prison time and I'm just tired of this. I'm tired of disappointing the people that have never disappointed me. We couldn't show this man's face, but he says he tried to stay out of jail on his own, but it hasn't worked. Others agree. This program's open my eyes. I believe this program will stop me from coming back. In the six months the program has been running, 41 inmates have participated. 29 have stayed out of jail, 2 have come back, and 10 have gone on to prison. It costs about $40 a day to house someone in jail, so that's a savings of about 5000 of your taxpayer dollars. Tim Colton graduated from the program and has been in jail more than 100 times, but for the first time in his life, he's clean and confident he won't be coming back. It's all coming together and it all stems from this program. Maybe the reason the program works so well is because the man who runs it was once on the other side. It's kind of ironic. This was my cell. In the last month, the program has expanded to the women's jail. The Kalamazoo County hopes to expand it in the men's jail as well. Right now, there's only room for 12 inmates. Live in studio control, Heather Walker, 24-hour News 8. Hey, interesting.